Oh my god, the fellow's on fire! Hey everybody, welcome back to the Spinalcraft server, and as a new day dawns, we are going to be doing some work. Lots and lots of work. Um, I've got some really cool ideas that I want to try out and begin working on for this tree farm project. Well, not tree farm, but tree. Anyway, um, so what I want to do is tear it down. Tear the whole thing down. That's my goal. Ooh, there's a creeper down there. Let's we'll see if we can hit him before we continue on. There you are. Bang. Whoop, too high. Bang. Now I can go that high. There we go. Um, so anyway, what I want to do is I want to do some work. I want to tear down the bulk of the tree. Uh, we're going to leave the base, leave the roots... Um, we may tear down some of these roots behind us. These roots, uh, this part right here where I have the log up, we're definitely going to tear all of that out. We don't want that to go on. And, uh, yeah, we've got a lot of work cut out for us. Because this is going to be gone. <laughs> Alrighty, and we're all done with the demo demolition. Now, don't freak out. It's going to be okay. Sometimes the right move is to upend things a little bit, and that's what we've done. Um, taking a look at this, I really decided to go in a different direction, and I'm going to show you the inspiration for this. Right, y'all? over this away this this right here this whole entrance 
that we worked on the last couple episodes feels so polished and so amazing and lit up and organic and yet, you know, non-organic. It's kind of a coexistence, really, between nature that's coming in and the nature that died out. It's also kind of melding with... uh, humanity of sorts, you know, in this case, Minecraft Steve, uh, for kind of setting up things like, you know, a little barbecue, a little seating area. It's it's so organic that that's what we wanted, uh, for this. And when I, when I went through and rewatched, because after we did this area, I kind of had a dry spell. So after I went through and rewatched the uh, the last couple of episodes, that's when it hit me that we were going in the totally wrong direction here with with this area. We were going off into a direction that we didn't really want. We wanted nature. We wanted uh, like a symbiosis uh, of sorts. You know the combining of the two forces of, of uh, you know man and nature, and and when we were looking at it, well, when I was looking at it, that that's when it hit me that, you know what, this is not what I wanted. I wanted, you know, kind of this uh, huge, kind of co- combination thing where the two work together, and it wasn't it wasn't working. It was not working. So, the only thing we can do at this point is to tear down. Now, I think the majority of this is salvageable, but all of that wall right there, yeah, that all had to come down. And looking at this, I thought, this right here is life. You can see my camera account up there. (laughs) This right here is life. This... This right here, this this forging of metal, kind of symbolically, as it were, is life. Ooh, we got a lot, a lot of iron in there. And how can we e- most easily show a transfer between the tree that was, which, by the way, this is staying, and the tree that could be? Or the new life that could be, rather. And so that's what we're doing with this. We are re-envisioning uh, our tree of sorts to accommodate both ways. Uh, both the old, right, cha, and the new. And so it, it involved, required, uh, it demanded, it demanded a whole brand new approach to this. So... What's step one of our approach? Well, step one, if you've ever seen a tree in the woods um, and it's been cut down and you've got the, the, the base of the tree just sitting there, the tree stump, life always finds a way. And in our case, life's way is going to be this brand new tree right here. Now, this isn't a tree yet but it will be I think what we do to start things off is we've got our bed of a tree here our trunk as it were and new life is going to spring from it a smaller more vibrant tree a tree to kind of take root in the old and expand out and so we're going to real simply we're just going to you know, kind of work it out like this. Uh, let's see. This is... We're going to do this like this. It's just temporary anyway. Uh, but, yeah. So, we want to make sure that the tree cannot catch fire because there is lava source in there, but I think we're okay. And we're going to just kind of have... Oops. Oops. Like that, like that, like that. All right, so we're going to have this tree kind of growing up in the middle of the remains of the old tree. And 
what can we do to kind of further uh, that along? Well, one of the things we can do is we can cap this off. Um, so what we're going to do is it's going to be a little jagged, but basically the top of the tree here, I'm looking to be um, kind of a plateau of growth and life. Um, so we're going to polish it up, have some flower beds, um, have, you know, basically a natural f floor. We'll still have this underneath, this underlayment with our farm and stuff. And we'll probably have some other farms going on under here. But the, the tree itself, I think everything's going to start off here. And we're going to kind of incorporate this natural feel to things. And I think it'll work out a lot better. Uh, let's, let's do you right that. Let's do you like that. Will you, you. We don't want to cave in too much towards the middle. But you got to have a little bit of an in inlay and then the tree kind of fans out as it gets broader towards the top. So, let me work on this tree a little bit. We're not going to do too much on it today because I've just spent the past hour demolishing the remains of our previous tree. I think that's going to be... Yeah, that's, that's safe. That's not going to catch fire, is it? I don't think so. Uh, let's make this come in a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little like an indentation almost. Like that. There we go. Alright. And so, yeah. That's basically, I just wanted to give you guys kind of an overview of what I was looking at. And what direction I was going with. Now, I'm not going to cap this tree off yet. This is going to be a gradual process. I think it's more important to focus on the, tree, the remainder of the tree itself. This is something... I can do, frankly, in my off time. I can, I can easily, uh, we're going to light this up. I can easily go through and uh, finish this tree in my own time. Okay, yeah, we definitely didn't think about that. Do I have anything silk touch? Nope, we're going to have to use Choptimus Prime to get out. And uh, we'll have, we'll have a door here. And that'll kind of lead into the oak itself. And of course, it'll have a little bit of uh, branching going out. But I think it's going to look real good. Um, and then over here, like I've got to tear up all of this. And we want this grass to grow back. Um, probably should torch it. And I think we can have these like plateaus of sorts where we can have life going on, you know, a farm or something like that, but kind of have it built into the, ba the base of the tree, rather. And this, this right here is going to be a plateau, but we're going to, I think we should come, we'll have to widen this right here, but we want to keep it, you know, three to four wide all the way across. So I'm thinking, because we will kind of want to mimic that, we come across this way, uh, come out a little bit more, and a little bit more still. Oops, we're going to have to back up some, because now the tree is wrapping around. And right there into our tree I think that's a good idea right there all right and then what we can do here is we're gonna have uh, tear this up you sure do die loud golem and we're gonna go through switch out our planks kind of fill this in around the outside we don't want to make extra unnecessary spawning spaces. And then I think what we do is we have 
you know, this we have like an entryway. But then maybe we have a ramp up. Uh, so one, one, two. And then maybe one, two. And then maybe this way it goes up a little bit more and put those back. Where are you going? Put those back and then uh, let's see, that's two, 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 right here. All right, and then what we do is we have this. We have little bits of area like this where we have dirt coming up, and so it'll kind of be this uh, this kind of natural kind of arch coming up this way, and we'll have the ceiling here. And uh, of course we'll have uh, of course we'll have you know the log it's or the tree itself in places will actually just be wood, but then we'll have some like natural scenes as well. Get those out. I think that'll work out a little bit better. It'll really convey I I believe the the natural sort of melding that I'm looking for. Get down here. Yeah. Brighten up. Brighten up. So, um, yeah, I know it's it's not really been the most entertaining of episodes, but I did want to kind of give you guys an outline of what's going on. And when we come back next time, we're going to start kind of building towards our platform um, at the tree behind us there to make sure we kind of get the shape that we want. Uh, so instead of being necessarily a fallen oak, this will be more of a cut oak, like the top of it was cut off. So till next time, um, take care, <laughs> and uh, I will catch you then. Bye-bye.